The person who shot a man in his vehicle in Kaneohe early this morning is still on the loose. It ended with a crash that came dangerously close to a home. Sarah Madison spoke to a neighbor and joins us with more. Sarah? Joe, police say the victim reported being with his ex-girlfriend and being followed by the suspect. Two residential neighborhoods in Kaneohe ended up as crime scenes for an attempted murder case. Sources say it all started near Anoi Road and Uhilehua Street around 2.20 Tuesday morning. The suspect followed the 32-year-old man and shot at his vehicle. The suspect continued to pursue him for another mile. Sources say the chase ended here near the intersection of Mokulele and Namoku Street. Now the suspect rammed into the victim's vehicle, causing the victim to lose control and flip next to this house. The woman who lives in the home did not want to be on camera, but says she heard a loud bang and was shocked to find several trees plowed to the ground. The crash also damaged the garage. It was so loud, other neighbors woke up. Initially, there was a loud uh, screech of the tires, and then I heard a loud crash. So uh, it really just woke everybody up in the neighborhood. So I came out to see if, any, if it was anything nearby, and I saw a lot of the neighbors coming out with flashlights, trying to check on what was going on. Michelle Dang tells us police and an ambulance immediately responded, which told her that something was wrong. I was just concerned if they had crashed into the house or if anyone was hurt, really. Dang says she later found out that the crash was linked to the shooting. Part of me felt a little unsafe because I initially wanted to go out there to see if they were okay, but say it was not safe for me and I just was going out there intentionally just to help, you know. It felt kind of scary. The suspect took off and has not been arrested at this time. EMS tells us an ambulance was on scene, but the victim did not want to go to the hospital. Joe, back to you.